certain advantages in this based on inheritance that's then combined with training. Much in the same way that the, the ability of the spleen to expand if you dive a lot and you happen to be born in one of these uh, communities that we've been talking about. Is that possible? Yeah. I mean, I think certainly, um, you know, I mean, there's an interesting correlation between uh, like between people in STEM fields and um, having family members with autism. Um, and so I was actually at a, a lecture um, by in, in Princeton where um, the professor asked the incoming class of students, you know, how many of you um, have a family member with autism? And then of those, you know, and he had the he displayed the statistics, how many of you are, are joining the engineering department? And it was, you know, it was much higher amongst engineers. And he explained that this um, can have to do with the fact that, I mean, people on the spectrum tend to have an ability to hyper-focus. And that actually makes you, you know, the ability to really kind of narrow yourself to this one thing can make you a really good engineer. Um, and so in that way, it's, you know, it's a huge advantage because it's allowing you to succeed in that field, um, you know, depending obviously where you are on that spectrum and, and how that affects you in other ways. Um, and so if that in some way is giving you an advantage, you know, why wouldn't it be selected for? 